Tuesday, May 29. Matching the laborers with the harvest. When people show an interest in learning more about God and His church, we must choose carefully the ones who will be given this witnessing task. In a multicultural society, we would do well to assign someone of the same culture and language as the inquirer and possibly someone of a similar age group. Furthermore, we would consider the spiritual maturity, biblical knowledge, communication skills, and salvation experience of the worker. Now consider Acts 6, verses 1 through 8. What tasks are listed here? What were the results when specific ministries and abilities were matched? Here's the text. Now, in those days, when the number of the disciples was multiplying, there arose a complaint against the Hebrews by the Hellenists, because their widows were neglected in the daily distribution. Then the twelve summoned the multitude of the disciples and said, It is not desirable that we should leave the word of God and serve tables. Therefore, brethren, seek out from among you seven men of good reputation, full of the Holy Spirit and wisdom, whom we may appoint over this business, but we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And the saying pleased the whole multitude, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, and Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas, a proselyte from Antioch, whom they set before the apostles. And when they had prayed, they laid hands on them. Then the word of God spread, and the number of the disciples multiplied greatly in Jerusalem, and a great many of the priests were obedient to the faith. And Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and signs among the people. Although Stephen and the other six appointees were to serve tables, the qualification for this task does not seem to be that they had the ability to organize and distribute food. The believers still looked for spirit-filled men because their ministry to the Greek-speaking Jewish widows would also be a witnessing and evangelism work. Thus, we see that the newly appointed men were crucial to the evangelism of the early church in that they freed up the front-line evangelists and also actively supported their work. Although natural talents, spiritual gifts, and specific training are important to a successful church ministry, personal attitudes are, perhaps, even more important.